Hello everyone and welcome back. On this video, I'm really happy to show you what's new in Cubase's 3.2. With this new update, we have some amazing improvements, but we also have some great news for all you Cubase's users out there. For Cubase's 3.2, Steinberg teamed up with Waves to release their highly acclaimed Waves Tune Real-Time and Age Delay plugins exclusively through in-app purchases in Cubase's on iOS. With Waves Tune Real-Time, we now have world-class pitch correction built inside Cubase's for your iOS devices. I'm going to show you how you can use it to add gentle pitch correction or amazing hard tune vocal effects even in real time while you're singing into a microphone. Age Delay is now included with the Waves plugin bundle. With Age Delay you can achieve really cool old school PCM42 style effects like filtering, flanging and phasing to slapback echoes, ping pong delays and much more. So let's jump into Cubase's and let's listen to all these beautiful things in action. So here we have Cubase's 3.2 and as we all know Cubase's is really well known for its incredible touch operation. But with this new version we also have keyboard shortcuts support and we also have mouse support. So I'm really excited about this because it opens a brand new dimension to the way that you might be using Cubase's. So as you can see I have a Bluetooth keyboard here connected to my iPad and I can use shortcuts to perform different operations. For example I can zoom in and out, I can create a new track by hitting Command N like this and I can do a lot of things with the convenience of a keyboard if I wish to. So if I want to check a list of my shortcuts I can hold command and I can see a list of my shortcuts right there. So this is really convenient and if you want to record for example you can hit R and you can immediately start recording. Now it doesn't stop there we also have mouse support. So here I have connected a trackpad and as you can see I can use it as a mouse to select my events, move them around, double click, open them, use it to control my plugins, open my mixer and so on and so forth. So as I said this gives you an additional workflow that you can use when working in Cubase's. Now let me talk to you about the next big thing that we have in Cubase's and this is brand new Waves plugins and we're talking about some really powerful plugins here. We have the brand new Waves Tune Real Time and we also have the Waves H Delay. Now the Waves H Delay is added to the Waves plugin bundle along with the audio track, the L1 Plus Ultra Maximizer and the Q10 EQ. So now the bundle has four plugins instead of three. So if you already have it, you're going to get the H Delay as well, which is really powerful, but also you get more bang for your buck for this plugin bundle. The Waves Tune Real Time you can purchase it separately and it's exclusive to Cubase's. So now let's play some music and let's listen to how these plugins sound like. So let me show you how it works. First of all you can start by trying out the different presets that we have and we also have some really nice presets from Alan Morgan so make sure you check them out. So here I have a vocal and I'm going to start processing it with Waves Tune real time so that you can see the different sounds that we could get. First of all I want to explain some really really basic and important parameters. Here we have the range and this according to your singer you might want to set it so that Waves Tune real time can do a better job. If it's a female singer it's most likely that it's going to be between the alto, mezzo soprano or soprano range and if it's a male vocal it could be bass, baritone or tenor but these are not set in stone just select them and then listen and see what sounds better. Now the other very important thing that we have here is the scale. By default this is set to chromatic that means that Waves Tune will try and correct the note to the closest one possible. Now this is great if you don't know what the key of the song is and you can start listening and adjust but if you know the key of the song then I would totally recommend that you set the right key and this is how you do it. In this case my track is in G minor so I can just select my scale here G and then I can come here where it says chromatic and click on it so I can go to major but in this case I want natural minor. That's the scale that I'm using. Now let's try and listen to what this plugin can do to our vocals. I'm going to start with correction off and then I'm going to turn it on and we can see 
first of all how it sounds if we want to correct this vocal naturally okay so that it sounds really natural so let's play this vocal and let's see what different sounds we can get out of the waves tune real time in the streets when there's no one there we could reach out to anywhere living free and we play the game to the beat that we dare to sway so these two controls, speed and note transition, are really important for the sound that you're going to get with Waves in real time. If you go all the way down, you will start getting these quantization effects, these hard tune effects that are really, really interesting, and this might be what you want. But if you want to get a natural sound, you might want to turn this up a little bit and start pulling them down until you hear these quantization effects, and then pull back again. Let's listen. It's And as you can see, I can see how much waves tune real time is correcting this vocal. And if I want to fine tune this a little bit, I can come here to the correction and choose how much correction it will apply to this vocal. If it's all the way up, it will apply 100% correction. And if I pull it down, it will start easing the correction a little bit so that we get a little bit more of a natural sound to the vocals. Let's try this. The next control that I want to talk about is the vibrato control and if you want to get these quantization effects you might want to set this to off. If you turn it on then you have a slider here that allows you to exaggerate the vibrato of the singer or tame it a little bit. And the last thing, the tolerance controls allow you to fine tune the correction even further. So play with them, see what sounds good to you because this will allow you to get some really, really nice and beautiful vocal correction. Now let's try and switch some things around so that we can get these really popular quantization effects. And in order to do this, the recipe is to lower the speed all the way down and the note transition all the way down. Let's try and do this now. And as you can see, if you want to get even more kind of robotic sounds for your vocals, more synthetic, you can set the format to not correct it. This will not correct the format, so you will get a little bit of a more synthetic sound, if that's what you're looking for. So let's play the track and let's listen to the difference. In the streets when there's no one there, we could reach out to So as you can see with Waves Tune Real Time, you can get very natural vocals, very natural correction, but you can also get this really popular, you know, let's face it, quantization, hard tune vocal effects. So sticking with this vocal, before we get to the age delay, I want to show you the plugins that we have in the Waves plugin bundle. And let's start adding these. I'm going to start adding these plugins to this vocal and we can hear the difference that they make. Okay, let's listen to it without the Waves plugins first and then I'm going to start adding the plugins. First of all, I'm going to add the Q10 EQ. In the streets when there's no one there 
we could reach out to anywhere. So what I'm doing here is I'm cleaning up the vocal, I'm taking away some of the nasal frequencies, and I'm adding just a tiny bit of sheen there. Now, moving on, we have the Waves audio track. These are all included in the Waves plugin bundle. This is a great plugin for vocals and not only for many different things because it has an EQ, gate, and compressor in one plugin. Let's listen to how they sound with this plugin now. In the streets when there's no one there We could reach out to anywhere Living free and we play the game So I'm going for this very, very aggressive pop vocal sound So I'm boosting the high mids quite a bit and also the top end now let's move on to the other plugin which is the Waves L1 Ultra Maximizer and this will give us a little bit of boost in the volume. In the streets when there's no one there We could reach out to anywhere So again, without them and then I'm going to start adding them. In the streets when there's no one there We could reach out to anywhere so as you can see, very quickly we can achieve a very nice, bright, popping vocal sound. Now, let's talk about the H delay, shall we? There we go, I'm going to activate it as a send effect. This is a beautiful delay plugin, you can create amazing delay effects, tape delays, ping pong delays, digital style delays, but also modulation effects. And in this case, I'm using a ping pong delay, so let's listen to how this sounds. In the streets when there's no one there We could reach out to anywhere Living free and we play the game To the beat that we dare to sway yeah. We also have a beautiful filter here, high pass and low pass that allow you to shape the tone of your delays so that they don't clutter your mix. Let's listen to this. In the streets when there's no one there, we could reach out to anywhere, living free and we play the game. And maybe I can try the lo-fi. To the beat that we dare to sway, yeah. In the streets when there's... So it sounds really beautiful. We also have this analog control that allows you to add a little bit of saturation, noise to your delays, make them a little bit more organic. The other great thing is that you can set the delay to be in sync with the tempo of Cubase's, or you can set it in milliseconds, and this means that it's going to be completely free. You set the time of the delay here, and you're good to go. Now let me show you the Waves Tune Real Time and the Edge Delay in real time while I'm going to attempt to sync into a microphone. Let's do it. So I'm going to mute Eero's beautiful vocal here for a second and now I'm going to use my microphone that I've connected to my UR22C preamp here and I'm going to sing into the microphone and I'm going to process my vocal sound in real time with waves tune real time and I'm going to add a little bit of H delay as well and let's try a few sounds, right? And now let's listen to what we have right here. As you can see, I'm using Waves Tune real time, in real time, no pun intended. And as you can see, I've set up the Waves Tune real time to give me this quantized vocal sound in real time while I'm singing. You know, that's not pre recorded. So now what I can do is I can go ahead and add a little bit of delay. I'm going to go to my sound effects and add the waves delay. And you know, just for the fun of it, okay, let's listen to some of the presets ping pong. Lo-fi slap, lo-fi, bandpass delay, dub delay, dub, this is cool, let's try the oldies, oldies, dog dub, one eight, filter delay, Slap delay, chorus delay, chorus delay, chorus delay, chorus delay, chorus delay. Springy drums. Oh wow, that's cool. <laughs> what about the spring reverb stereo? Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, let me select the simple one. 
ping pong and I'm going to lay down some random vocals. Okay, now let's sing some vocals into the mic and let's let waves tune real time do its magic. Let's do it. Sounds so cool, so cool. I like this, it's all in real time. It lets me groove, it lets me clue. Let's record. Whoa, that's how we roll. Oh, yeah, that's how we roll. Whoa, yeah, that's how we roll. And you know what? Let's add Waves L1 in the end and boost this level for our master. cool is that we can do all these things inside Cubase's and in real time with these amazing plugins. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you make some great music with Cubase's 3.2 and the new Waves plugins. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.